Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about the counter programming for uh, PIC 18F microcontroller uh, in C language, right? So what is a counter? Counter is a peripheral which is built in available and these are also known as timers. So we will be using timer as a counter and what we will do, we will count the events, right? So let's consider an example in which pick 18 app is shown here. Uh, and we know that uh, there is a external pin, which is basically RA4. Uh, it is receiving certain amount of pulses. So basically what this counter does, it actually counts the number of pulses and it shows it, it is written here, count the number of pulses received through RA4. So RA4 uh, pin is being, uh, is basically receiving the, uh, the pulses and we are supposed to count those pulses. And when this count reaches to 40, then what you have to do, you have to turn on an LED, which is connected to RC0. So this is an LED, which is connected to RC0 pin and we need to use the counter and we will be using timer for this, right? So just a simple calculation, which is required here. We need to know what is the value of timer zero, right? So what you will do, uh, you know that the count or the initial value for the timer, which is equal to, uh, we know that 40, 40 is a, uh, in timer zero, you have an option of 16 bit number or a 16 bit count or eight bit count. But for four, four zero or 40, you can easily use an eight bit number. You don't need to use a, a 16 bit number. So for 16 bit, the maximum value can be what 256 minus the count. Count is what 40 here. So it will become eventually 216 decimal, right? So this is the number we will start from uh, the timer. And when this number, will reach to because we know that it is, it is a counter and it will it will count count up right whenever pulse will receive so 216 will become 217 then it will become 218 and eventually it will reach to its final value which is basically 255 and then it will there will be a rollover point and it will switch to the zero that means your 40 pulses have been received and whenever this rollover will uh, occur we will be notified with the help of timer zero IF flag, which we have already discussed in timers. Uh, so uh, that flag we will we will be using as a test bit, and whenever that will be that will be that bit will be high, you will turn on the con LED connected with RC zero, right? Uh, for those who are not aware about these things, uh, I've already given the links in the last video tutorial, so I will suggest follow those tutorial. I will again also mention some of the video videos tutorial for uh, your convenience in the iCard position. You can click on those iCards uh, if you have any confusion regarding these values calculation, right? But in this tutorial, again, I'm concentrating on the C code, right? So let's write the code for this purpose. So let's say uh, I'm gonna write void main void. Then I will be defining the input and output pin. Okay, the first thing that I want to do, the, define the RA4 pin as the input pin. So how you can do it, press, because we know that we define using the control register, press A, bits dot press A, and the pin number is what four, it should be what one, because it is an input pin, right? Then we will talk about RC0, press C, press C, then bits, press C, and pin number is zero, it should be equal to zero because it is going to be our output pin, right? Then what we do, we, we, we will feed these values in timer, right? So let's say we define, uh, we define the timer zero L because it is going to be the lower byte only. We are considering only eight bit number. So timer zero L will be equal to what? Uh, 216 in decimal. So you can simply write 216 in that shape, right? You can also convert this number into hexadecimal and you can define that number in uh, hexadecimal, but I'm gonna do it in uh, decimal, right? So next, next variable or next register, which is very important here is timer zero control. So I'm gonna write the bit by bit number and then I will convert into hexadecimal. So first bit, initially we should turn off the counter. Initially it should be off mode. Then we are using only eight bits. So the second bit should be what one. 
then we are using okay uh, this is interesting uh, we are going to increment remember this is very important we are going to increment the number of pulses. We're going to count the pulses on positive age. So we are interested only in positive age of those pulses. So we will be very careful while writing this code. So we will consider positive age, right? Uh, sorry, uh, the, ex uh, the third bit is for external. Clock is external because we are not considering the internal clock. Rather, we are taking clock from external pin, which is RF4. So for external, it should be one. And then we will consider zero. Remember, if it is a negative age pulse, you want to count the negative age pulses. Ultimately, result will be same, uh, same for this application. But there are various sensors which works only for negative age or some works for positive age. So you need to be sure about which sensor you are talking about. So right now, I'm just counting the positive pulses, then it should be zero. And the rest four bits, you know that these doesn't matter in counters. Uh, we have already discussed thing, as I told you, uh, I've already given the links to those who have not followed the counter theory lecture. So please follow those lectures first and then you will be able to understand this tutorial. So I'm going to bypass the next bits and that should be zero. So if I convert it into hexadecimal, it becomes equal to what? Uh, 0, 1, double, 0 means uh, it is a 6 and 1, triple, 0 means 8. And it, it should be in hexadecimal. So 0, x, 6, 8. So instead of uh, defining them in binary, I will be defining them in hexadecimal number, right? So that's it, that, that is the definition of timer zero control register. Now, what you have to do, you have to just uh, make sure that your timer zero IEF flag, which you're gonna choose or which you're gonna check for the counter uh, completion, you need to make it first zero. So what is it? It is an interrupt control register, interrupt control and its bits position is what? Uh, timer zero IEF flag. IF flag, it should be initially what? It should be zero, right? So flag is zero and then we start the counter. How you started BSF uh, bit set file and counter uh, start and on and off bit is available in timer zero control register. So timer zero control bits dot, or oh, sorry, okay. Uh, I need to write in C. So I was writing about assembly. So the bit, uh, it is present in timer zero control register, then bits, then it should be what timer zero on bit, right? And it should be equal to what one. So this line will start the timer, right? And now, or timer means here we count. So it will, this IC will start counting the number of pulses. Let's say it receives one, okay? It is not going to be uh, expired because we know that it is configured or these values are calculated for 40 pulses. So it will receive 40 pulses, one, two, three, four, five, once. The 40th pulse will receive what is going to happen. This flag will become one. So we will check for this flag consecutively whether this has become one or not. So uh, let's say we will remain in the loop unless in control bits dot timer zero if timer zero if bit as long as it remain equal to zero, we will remain in this loop. Otherwise, we will come out of the loop, right? So that's it. We will remain in this same loop. I've just put it here semicolon because there is no uh, uh, statement available in the loop body. Rather, it is just a conditional check. So as long as it remain in, to the, in this loop, so it will not do any function. Once timer zero IF becomes equal to one, so this condition will become false and we will come out of the loop. And that means the 40 pulse have been arrived in the, into the microcontroller. So now it's time to turn on the LED which is connected to RC0. So what you do, you simply write port C bits and the pin number is what RC0, you will make it equal to one. So your uh, port will be or your LED will be turned on, right? So that's the completion of this code. I hope you have understand it. Let me just summarize it for you. So if I summarize this, the, these two lines are written for the purpose of input and output configuration. Then we define the values of timer zero control and timer zero lower byte with the uh, given scenario. Remember these were the calculation for count. And then what you do, you actually uh, intentionally make, intentionally, intentionally make the bit uh, of timer zero IF, which is basically notifier of timer expire. So you make it equal to zero, then you turn on the timer and then you check for that specific bit, whether it has become equals to one or not. 
as long as it remains equals to zero, so you stay in the loop, and then when it becomes equals to one, which is going to happen when your count will complete, so you will come out of the loop, and then you just turn on the time, turn on the LED which is connected to RC zero. So I hope you have understand this code. If you have any confusion, please post confusions, post those confusions in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.